Hi guys, it's Crystal City or Homestead. So I thought I'd do something a little different this week. <laughs> Why don't we do a Wacky Wednesday? Might as well. I have been trying to figure out how to make um, pancakes in a jar so that Tom could just add it, water to it, but I haven't gotten it down yet. So I thought, what's the next best thing to do is French toast. So I told AJ, I'm going to make Grandpa some French toast sticks today. He goes, Grandma, I want some too. <laughs> so we're going to make some for AJ too. But I got two full loaves of this. It's the artesian, or, or, I don't know how to say it, but anyway, let me pull it up here. It's this spread. I got two loaves of that from um, Sam's today. So I'm going to cut each piece of bread into three pieces and put them on the plate here. And if I want to make more, I can. This actually, honestly, is my favorite bread. But it's always so expensive. But now, even the cheap bread is getting to be that expensive. So, you know, I think it cost me $5.48 for two loaves. And just your Walmart white bread right now is $1.32. So, you know, a dollar more and you get the thickness and everything that you want. I guess that's not such a bad thing. Now, I prepared them before I came online. So, I've got, it says to use aluminum foil, which I've never used that before. I've just put them on there and spray it really good on your pans. So, I'm going to try it and see how that works. See if it gets it a little bit um, crispier or not. I'm going to save the end pieces for my squirrels that visit every day or every other day. <laughs> I love seeing my squirrels, so. And I'm preheating the oven for 350. So that's going right now. All right. So now she made a really valid point, and I was like, wow, I kind of like that idea. So I'm going to do what she said. She uses a 9 by 13 pan so that she can spread it out better, and you're not dipping it into a bowl. And so they hold together better. So we're going to start out with a cup and a half of milk. I don't know if she used a 9 by 13, but general idea. And I have to make, might have to make more because she only did eight pieces. So I might have to add more. It ain't no big deal. If I run out, I'll do it more. And then we're going to put three eggs in there. Three eggs. <laughs> and we need a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to add that part. We happen to like cinnamon, but if you don't like it, you don't have to. And then we need two tablespoons of sugar. And I had one of those pancakes today because my bagels ran out. So Tom brought me a um, pancake and they were really good. <laughs> I'm like, no wonder you've been wanting to eat those every day. And then we need two teaspoons of vanilla. I need to remember to add more vanilla to my next shopping list. I'm almost out. That's not good. Seems like when you cook every day, you run out of stuff very quickly. You know what I mean? If you don't cook every day, stuff seems to last longer. All right, and then we're going to whisk all that together. Get that milk and cinnamon and vanilla. Everything mixed in really, really good. You know, with cinnamon, it never goes in real good anyway. You can just do it as best as you can. 
That's about it. All right. I know this is weird to do something like this in the middle of the week, but I just want to sit with you guys. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> so I'm weird. All right, so now I'm going to take these and I'm going to individually make sure you get all sides. And you can put them close together, but not on top of each other. You know what I mean? Because obviously they're not going to expand at all. I figured I'd put three in a bag for AJ and four or five in a bag for Tom. And that way... There should be enough for a good snack. What I'm trying to get away from is Tom has a Pop-Tart every day for lunch. Or for breakfast when he gets to work. And that's a lot of calories. <laughs> and there, I, okay. I'm not going 100% healthy because honestly I can't afford to do that. And, but there are some places in which you can save calories or you can save what's in your food. And I did watch a program of a girl here in Michigan. And, you know, our food is gross. <laughs> they put all kinds of stuff in it that other countries won't even allow. You know, so, I mean... I would like to kind of know what's going in my food. And so the only way to do that is to make it myself. So I asked Tom, I says, would you like some French toast sticks instead of having, you know, your um, Pop-Tarts? And he's like, yeah. And I've actually bought some potatoes that I'm going to heat up for my grandkids once they get rid of their Pop-Tarts. Because they get chocolate ones, which Tom doesn't like. So, <laughs> um, once they use up their Pop Tarts, and then I'll make those potatoes up for them. Just so we kind of know what's in their food. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So, it looks like one sheet's about done. I don't know if I want to do. The second, um, the second container or not, I'll decide. So I'm going to put those in there and it's, she said about 20 minutes, flip them somewhere in between. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to flip them. All right, so I flipped the first one and now I'm going to flip the second one and it's 12 minutes per side. And I have a little spatula here in case it sticks like that. <laughs> They're a little bit hot to the touch. Not too awfully bad though. Alrighty. So now I'm going to get the rest of these flipped. I'm going to put them in the oven and then we're going to cook them for another 12 minutes. Alright, so they're both done. And then AJ said, don't forget the white stuff, Grandma. So then we're going to sprinkle it with the powdered sugar. And I know a lot of you like this, so I'm going to put the link below so that you can actually order them if you want to. I love this thing. I'll show you how it works. I'll fill, I've got it there. You just turn the end and see you fill it. Close it back up. And that way you don't have to have a whole bunch in a pan either. Alrighty. So now I'm going to let those cool down. And then I'll bring you back and show you what I'm, how I'm going to package them up. Alright, so what I decided to do is... For AJ, I'm going to use the small snack bags, and I'm going to put three in each one. All 
I could have probably made up both loaves, I guess, but if they want more, I can always make more. So I don't have tons of room in my freezer. <laughs> and then I'm putting sandwich bags for Tom. There'll be four each in there. So there's Tom's. And this will be AJ's and Emmy's if he wants them too. And then what I did for Tom's, I told you I bought those little tiny... Look at that. I, they, I think there was eight in the package for $1.25. So then he can just dip his um, sticks right into there and take it right to work with them. So there's my Wacky Wednesday. <laughs> it's not something new I'm trying. I just thought I need to do something for them and let me get it done. So <laughs> it's just an extra video. All right. You guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing and I'll see you at supper.